without a doubt, this is the after product of what I've been spending most of my day on. <clears throat> how the hell will I know how it happened? I was looking into trenches yet again for Dervelt Krieg and uh, just got ticked off when I uh, read about uh, solid defense. And I was like, what the hell? You're basically giving um, poor poor organized or poor infantry um, better chance at getting a solid defense. Basically 2219 says, the need for heavy artillery increased as defenses improved. A hex is considered to have a solid defense when it contains a trench marker and at least five or the number of infantry strength points equal to a full strength infantry division. For each hex side, it is attacked through. So I was like, great. So you're basically re rewarding um, Russian troops over German troops due to the fact that, for example, let's say the top right hand corner for here. Uh, I'm using these at battle because I'm going off into Wonderland. Is a four. So basically all I need is four strength points and I get my solid defense if I got a trench versus uh, Mr. Uh, we knew how to build um, the Hindenburg line and so on and so forth, but we need five infantry strength points because we've got a top a, a top right hand quarter maybe of eight. What the hell? I was like, no, no, no. Anyways, this morning I was like, you know what? Let's just revamp the whole thing. It's also this D6 thing sucks the hind tit when you're starting to talk about minus four for it just like. Basically, when you get to anything above eight, I, I do believe it doesn't matter, and anything uh, below minus two, it doesn't matter either. So there's all these modifiers that just basically doesn't matter anymore. I was like, I, I can't, it's driving me up the tree. So, and Dave, sh but I still wanted to keep in sync or in harmony with what Dave Schroeder is trying to do. One of the big things is very, 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 um, Defender friendly combat results. I don't know if I'm got there yet. It doesn't seem to be it's extremely deadly But I'm liking where I'm going. It makes sense and It seems like the way his philosophy was every strength point counts. I want everything to count Essentially, so I went with a d12 Um it's still in keeping with the uh, multiple of fours and so on and so forth. We're going with it. I'm go well. I'm going with it. This is my second playthrough. My first playthrough is just like kind of like rolls. I was like, holy shoot! But now I'm like, I need to do it in a real world setting. I was going to originally do it for the first battle of the Asanzo. I was like, oh, wicked! I could finally do like that's like because I think my CRT is very. It incorporates the multiples of four and a d12 as well as column shifts. So if your die roll modifier and your die roll brings you above 12 or below one, it uh, you just shift over that value, you know what I mean, accordingly, and you just use that number. And I don't know yet. I've only played it once. I'm just going to say this, I'm enjoy it makes a heck of a lot more sense. Like I said, it's the second time I've tried it. The D12 I like because it still keeps uh, with that multiple of four uh, that he's, and I'm, I'm okay with it. I can play with that quite a bit. So what I've put in here is almost like a recreation of what's downstairs, which I've been wanting to do anyways. I was thinking I'm getting to the level in my narrative where I have to actually war game my war game and I'm totally okay with that. So this made uh, gave me a perfect um, reason to do it. So um, for this bit I'm using every, don't worry where the supply points are coming from. We're not going to deal with any of that nonsense. We're just going to deal with the Dervel Krieg rules as they are except use my combat, my CRT, and see what happens. Then I'm gonna try it the other way and, and see as well. We'll see, uh, like I don't know. So Germany is gonna be attacking, they've got some artillery. I popped the artillery strength points off to the side here. It's They've got eight total here, six total there, which is what I wanted to do anyways, is nail these buggers. 
I don't know if the Russians are going to do that, but this is generally what the Russians have been trying to do anyways, which is seven. All right. So we've got, and then I've got this, which I call the conveyor belt uh, strategy, which basically means you just bring, you know, you slink on troops, the reserves in one after the other. Away we go. Okie dokie smokey. So there we go. What else can I tell you about uh, solid defense? Like I said, solid defense, as long as you got fought, well, in my world, I'm going to do it, but in Russian land, it would be only four, but it doesn't matter. They've got seven across the board because I'm doing that one-third retreat thing. Everybody is entrenched. What the hell does that mean? As far as I know, it's, well, lots of defensive bonuses uh, and negatives and so on and so forth. Great, because it's going to, like, really test my CRT. However, as far as I know, we'll take a look again because I'm just going to do a quickie bit right now and go uh, rewrite, but I'm excited as flipping hell. I think this is going to work. A few little wrinkles. Like I said, I'm going to play it in other fronts and see how it's twists and turns and uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I, there's potential is what I'm trying to say. So as far as I know, to get these mothers out of this trench, and it's deadly. I'm just get. I was like, whoa, it's pretty vicious. My CRT is monster. It's, oh, you're going to see what I mean. It's just like, it doesn't look pretty. You're like, at first, you're like, what are you talking about? Next thing you know, it's like, holy F. It's because I've decided it's, yes. It's very, um, at first, very defender friendly, but as soon as you start bringing in a ton of strength points and whatever, you're going to tip the balance. You're going to hit that over will. Look, for Christ's sakes, I've got 44 strength points here against seven with eight uh, artillery strength points there against seven uh, entrenched. I don't care what the hell you are. You're going to get crushed. Do you understand? Same here. That's what I'm trying to show. Yes, I'm going to take a punch in the nose backwards, but I'm going to get crushed. I should be able to take these positions, especially in the Eastern conflict, uh, Eastern Europe conflict zone. I'm sorry, but that's the way I'm looking at it. So we're going with 47 because I'm trying to recreate what I think is, well, I know I've only got 47 here, but Russia potentially would only have 24. Remember, I'm trying to war game my war game or whatever the hell you want to call it. So the Germans are going to go out, uh, towards here. We're going to uh, do two attacks, one from here, one from there, uh, with 47 supply points. Who cares where they come from? This is a simulation of a whatever. And I'm going to see what I, I'm going to go with it. I'm going with a, like I said, I'm going with a D12, and oh, I'll show you a very quickie bit of the um, the CRT. Well, there's the first 20. I think you kind of get the idea. Oh, actually, I sh it's going to go back to tripled, and we'll see how that works. I, the first time I tried it with the just the doubled. I was too scared that the uh, counter attack, and it's like, mm, actually give it, give it to them. I think you get the idea. I've got something going on here, man. That's all I got to say. I just feel it. Um, yep. I hope you understand what I mean. You, you, like, I'm not going to fill in every flipping number, for Christ's sakes. Anyways, that's it. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's going to work. I hope to God it works. Hope you're having a great time. See ya.